we'll now look at two lines converging and finding the algebraic intersection. If we know the equations of the two lines, could we find the intersection point coordinates exactly? Yes, we can. Let's look at the intersecting equations and just do it in general. Let's consider two linear equations, y equals 2x and y equals negative 2x plus 20. At what point do the graphs intersect? Well, at the intersection, y has to be the same for both lines for both equations, and x must also be the same for both equations, or they wouldn't be ex intersecting at that point. So, here in this equation, we can substitute 2x, which is y at that point, for y in the second equation. Having written down the two equations, we see that x and y are the same in both, and so we can just take the 2x instead of the y and put it down here instead of the y in this equation we have 2x and so we have 2x equals negative 2x plus 20 we add 2x to both sides we get 4x equals 20 x then must be equal to 5 and y is 2 times x or 2 times 5 10. the intersection point then x y is at the point 5 comma 10. That's the coordinate where the two lines intersect. Here's the graph including some sample numbers that we've put and you can see that the intersection point is at 5 comma 10. That's where both equations have the same x and y. Now, in the conductivity titration, we add sodium hydroxide, drop by drop, to hydrochloric acid to determine when all the acid has been neutralized. And we see a graph in which the conductivity goes down gradually and linearly until a certain point, and then it starts going up. On a separate slide series, I have shown the ionic interpretation of this so that you can take a look and see exactly what is happening on the submicroscopic level. We'll blow up the graph now and solve for the equivalence point. We got the slope off the graph and the y-intercept, so the conductivity here is equal to negative 103.4 times the volume plus the y-intercept 596. The conductivity on this line is 72.1 times the volume, minus 140.7. So how many drops would exactly neutralize the acid? We must be looking for the point at which the two lines intersect. That would be the lowest point on this two straight line curve. So we've written down the conductivities for both equations and we'll just abbreviate conductivity for C and volume for V. Here are the two equations. C is equal to both. We're talking about the same point C, so we can set the two equations equal to each other. We then add the same thing to both sides in order to combine these like terms, and we get 737 equals 175.5 times the volume in drops. We then solve for V and we get 4.2 drops. We then plug the V into the equation up here to see that C at that point must be 162. Here's a kind of an approximation. We can check our work and see that indeed this looks about 162 high compared against the 200, and this is a little over 4, so 4.2 is a reasonable answer for the volume. Equivalence is reached 
here after adding 4.2 drops of sodium hydroxide.